What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of OIFC TV. Today, you have me, Captain Braden, and Captain Brant. Captain oh. Braden? You captain? I'm driving a boat, boy. <laughs> You're driving a boat? I'll be Captain Brant. This be first mate Braden. I'm just letting him drive a boat today. What are we doing, man? What's the play? We're, uh, we're on my 25 contender. We're fortunate enough to have commercial snapper grouper permits on this boat. Yeah. And um, what that allows is for us to go target red snapper. So folks at home, um, red snapper is a federally managed fish and uh, they were endangered for many, many years and, and um, the fisheries management still believes that they're endangered. Uh, we may think and hopefully will show otherwise, um, but there is a special permit that you have to have to be able to uh, catch, keep and sell um, it's called a snapper grouper reef permit. So snapper grouper, obviously part of that. A uh, red snapper is what we're going for today. Grouper is actually closed. We may, uh, we're, we're gonna do a species uh, allocation count on grouper as well. Um, Cause they can sometimes be out there. What I'm planning on doing is going, we're gonna catch bait right over here out front. We had word, there's Gavin. He's the one that told us there's bait. Yeah, we got and, word um, on bait. What so are we getting, Menhaden? Yeah, Hayden. Yep. Catch some try to catch from Menhaden. Uh, then I'm planning on heading to about 80 foot of water. That's where they seem seem to be. Right. And then the we'll just, just be fishing with our live bait. We cut our, I know we sometimes we fish them whole, sometimes we cut them. But um, bait's first step. And then that's probably for us, we'll cruise about 25 to 30 on out there. Mother nature has been an obstacle. It's the heat of the summer. And uh, probably already see the sweat marks on me. It's hot. So um, you good to go, man? You got this, Captain Braden? All right, let's go see if we can get it going, man. Bait has been kind of scattered. It's not, it's not schooling up super thick like it normally does. And they're just hard to, harder to get. So I think we're just gonna load up both nets, see if we can Hit him with a double whammy here. Got all we needed. That is what you call floating a net. Let them swim it up for you. Man, normally, I only need about 50. Why you gotta catch 500? Caught a few too many for what we needed, so I'm gonna try to let some of them go without letting all of them go. Here, bud, go straight to the basket. Be sure we got enough. All right, there they are, right away. there. I'm gonna take that basket. All right, so this is a Menhaden, AKA Pogi. I think up north they call them Elwise, or I've heard them called Shad. They call them Shad in the Outer Banks, except they're about three times this big. But this is like the staple bait fish, very, very important to our coast. Um, they migrate up and down the coast from Florida right on up to New York, New Jersey, maybe even beyond there, I don't know. We got out here, got our bait. We're starting to try to head offshore, but the angle that we have, we have a big swell coming in. And yeah. This boat in particular does not ride the best compared to a 37 Freeman, of course. Yeah. Which he's gotten used to. He's gotten soft in his older age. What? Fishing on one of those boats. I'll show you but. soft, boy. <laughs> I'll show you soft. Yeah, we got, we talked about the weather being unstable. There's all sorts of storms have been passing. And although the wind's not blowing now, there's a lot of swell and it's coming like due south, southwest. We just want to try to find as much off of a due south course as we can get. So we can try to keep that, the sea off of our bow, but it's going to be a slow go. But how about this angle? Yeah, I mean, this is further east. Little bit rough for the trolling motor, but we're going to give her a shot, see see what she's made of. We've got a super long shaft on the motor, but we got a lot of sea to deal with here, so I don't know. We're gonna try it. We're in here in about 80 foot of water. You can see the depth there, water temperature 84. This is what we're looking at. This is the red is the bottom. That is a ledge right there. You can see fish on both sides, so that's about a four to five foot ledge. So we're gonna try to position ourselves right on top of that thing. 
little choppy today. Definitely started to blow a little bit when we got offshore here and there's a big swell. But we got out here. We're gonna try to try to catch a couple fish. So this is a little little different method that seems to work pretty good with the red snappers. We got a little jig. And you can see it's got that second hook on the back. And what I like to do with that is I like to poke it right here through the gut, or through the bottom of the stomach. If I can, let me see. And kind of feed it through. We let it kind of dangle on the back side of the bait. And that's what I personally like to do. Seems it works the best. If y'all have been watching the episodes, you've seen that we've been uh, not purposely catching these endangered species, they so call. And today is the first time we've really, that we're actually targeting them to be able to take home to sell. Every time we go fishing, we catch them, but now that we actually want to catch them, they get much harder, isn't that? Isn't that the way it goes? See here, I'm just, I'm just barely easing my bait down. I don't want my weight to tangle. Now I'm gonna see. Got the first fish on here. Feels like a pretty nice one. There you go, there he is right there, red snapper. Got you a nice red snapper. Ooh, look at this, that's a pretty one. Heck yeah, that's what we came to get. That's what we came out here for. Dang boy, you catch them that big, we won't have to catch very many. They like the jig. Well, so far our population assessment is proving good. We shall see, but this red snapper will become extinct, actually, this very one. But hopefully there's more. Get oh, down nice and slow. I'm dropping it down easy here. All right, I'm on the bottom. A couple cranks here. Oh, God dang it. Oh, there he is right there. Oh, oh he got him. God dang it. He whipped my ass. You get gagged? I don't know. I got smoked as soon as that thing hit the bottom. I got waxed. Maybe he didn't break my hook off. Red snapper. So the whole thing about red snapper is um, with a commercial permit, you can only keep 75 pounds a day. So we have to weigh every fish to make sure that we're not going, going over every, over 75 pounds. So you'll see. Yeah, these, yeah, we, we're just trying to get a pretty close estimate. That fish is, we're gonna call that fish seven pounds. So we just, you know, we're try, trying our very best to stay within the, uh, the letter of the law these red snapper are federally regulated. For us, if we can run out here 20 miles, catch 75 pounds, Braden can make himself a truck payment. Braden, how old are you, son? I'm about to turn 15. We're not very far off birthday. He's thinking he wants a car, but I'm thinking he needs to make some money. So this is what I did a lot of times growing up. So this is the way maybe he can make a dollar or two. All right, Braden, are you getting ready to go down? Already almost. I'm going down too. First one. I'll bet you, I'll bet you fastest up and I'll bet you biggest. Which All one right. do you want? First up or biggest? First up. That's cheating because you went down a lot faster than I did. You can drop your jig faster. I'm gonna go biggest. But I might take you on both of them. You better not let me get all the way to the bottom without you getting a bite. Whoop. Whoa, whoa. Got his ass. Got his ass. Come here, boy. Oh, this one's not very big. Braden makes this stuff look a lot harder than it is. It's really not that hard. All you gotta do is just drop down, catch a red snapper. What's the big deal? But I got first up, and that's what you wanted to go for. Ugh. Pretty little fish. I would say this fish right here is probably a fairly average-sized fish. I will weigh, it's probably about a five-pounder. 
Um, that one Braden caught, I mean, Braden's fish was seven, eight pounds, so like five to 10, probably pretty regular, um, but we catch them. We're a little shallow. You get on out to 100 feet, 100 plus foot, and we will hook some bruisers, 20 plus pounders. Good restaurant fish, so eat beautiful. Eat beautiful, so I'm gonna weigh him up here so we can keep our tally here. Got him. Oh, that's a little one. Do you even have him? Now, if this one is bigger than yours, I still take that, right? Oh, I just got eight. What the heck happened to him? I think I just got you eight got eat by, by a shark. Got eaten by a shark or something? Oh, yep, definitely. He's right there. Oh, look at the size of that shark. Do you have the shark on? Yeah, yeah you so. do. Dude, that's the only one of those jigs we have, man. I Try to get... God. Another thing that's become a problem is the sharks. Sharks have gotten horrible. Where you can almost, some spots you can't even fish because of them. But um, the shark decided to eat it. And we don't have any more of these jigs that I was fishing. So I'm attempting to catch it to get my jig back because I really do want that jig. I think I recall a previous episode in which our roles were different. I was on the spinning rod and you were laughing and giggling at me, calling me a wimp. Is this one a world record like mine was? Well, yours was about 10 pounds. So. What? I got color. I call any type of big brown shark a bronze whaler, so I'm pretty sure you got a bronze whaler on here. So let's take this moment to talk about, this is like, uh, it seems like almost all of our episodes have turned into fishery management videos, I swear. We've done a flounder, we're dealing with a flounder closure, so we shot a show with a population assessment recently and uh, caught a blue million jumbo flounder. Red snapper is closed, we're shooting a show now population assessment so far we're five minutes in and well red snapper is not closed commercials open yeah yeah, yeah yeah well it's close you know what a good point recreationally closed oh look at him here he is right here bronze whaler oh i can get my jig back oh i see the jig you're gonna have to reach down there and get it though yeah you better get it come on don't break him off oh so the other part of fishery management sharks so sharks are also closed and so now we have a shark problem and there's too many sharks. They eat our fish, a lot of our fish. I mean, a lot. Look at him coming up head first right here. Got that jig right in his face. Oh, da da. All right, Braden, you reach down there and get that, would you? We got a shark problem. And you can't kill, this is a protected shark. But what, like a silky or a, dus a dusky, dusky maybe something? Dusky. Whoa, he is strong, I can tell you that. It's not like I'm really holding him. Oh, oh, he's pissed. He is pissed. He is super mad. You grab a rope and wrap it around his tail. Oh, you want to put a rope around his tail? Dude, that's what they do in South Florida. Oh my God. Let's put <laughs> I'll a wrangle rope. him like that. You, I'll it's hold the rod. It's going to be like will my you, 800 pound Can I hold the rod and let you do it? Will you do it? I don't it? care. Here, I'll hold the rod. You put the rope on his tail so we can get our jig. Here, no. give it to me. Come on. No. Come on, you big wimp. Dude, that guy right there is not. He's here just to see what we look like. He's not here because he's tired, I can tell you that. He's peed. They heard of him. Try he and put a rope over his head. Jump in the water if you hold him upside down like that. I've seen on TV. Oh! That worked! He bit the back hook off. That's okay. I think I have extra back hooks in my bag. We had that had an assist hook on it. We just what a release. I gotta give the boy a hand. That's uh that's skill right there. So we just lost our our uh uh, we call it stinger hook. Yeah. The assist hook. Got the jig back. Going back down for redemption. That was another red snapper we could have had. And then another fish closer. But the tax man had to come take him. Hey, why do you think they call a shark the tax man? What What do you think is the, the correlation there? Like nobody likes the tax man? Or he takes stuff that isn't his? Takes the stuff that you earn. Oh, I guess is what ooh, they're trying to get to, right? Ooh, ooh, I think you're probably gonna get Mr. IRS knocking on your door. You talk like that. Oh God, is that son? Son, he's digging. He's digging. Get up here, boy. 
Get up here. Come here. Oh, yeah, I got him. Hey. That water's going right in my shoe, Braden. I'm just returning the favor like you did earlier. There you go. Five pounder. All right, we are at 15 pounds. We've got some work to do. I said so far I've caught twice as many fish as you have. <laughs> right. But I'm still almost beating you in pounds just because. Is that a cobia? Brayden, is there a cobia? Look on your side, he was coming your way. Look just like a cobia. Yeah, it is. Cobia? Might be two or three of them. It's two of them. Oh my God, look at the size of this cobia. Two, two jumbos right here. They're like right there. I think I got another shark, Dad. Or a big cobia. You, but I, I, you know what, that's what you got. You gotta have a cobia. I don't know, he's pulling like a turd. Huh? He's pulling. Pulling too much strength? No, I mean like, you got the shark? He's too strong. Where are they at? Oh, oh God! Did you see that? Oh, son! Hold on, wait. Did he want that or did he want that? Got him! Look at that! Is the other one right there still? Yeah, but I got the big one. And the other one does want to eat. <laughs> All right, try to hold him right there. Dude, he shot out from under the boat. I got him. He'll, the other one will definitely eat. All right, so Braden hooked a shark over there. Cobia showed up, got a pair. He was hungry, he came right at that jig. Braden took the weight off of his uh, bottom rod, his snapper rod. He's gonna throw a live bait on. I'm gonna pull this over here. We're gonna catch that second one. I tell you, I do love to eat some Cobia. All right, here he is, right here, Bray, right on my side. Right here, right here. Come to my right, come to my right. Throw it in right there. Boom, watch that. Oh, <laughs> did you see how fast? That was fast. Now he's gonna gaff him. I got him. <laughs> you see mine? Yeah, he's pissed. He's tweaking. He's pissed. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. You actually need to do something about this. Oh, whoops. Oh no, he's too deep. My leader's too long. Oh no. My leader's too long, Dad. Brayden, this fish is to the front right of the boat. Get him in, quick. All right, come over here, quick. You gotta deal with this. Boom! Watch out. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Jump on him, get him! That right there is good eating. Let me tell you how I like to eat these things. So we actually take these up restaurant that my brother and his wife own called the Wing and Fish in Shalot. They specialize in wings, of course. They have boneless wings also. So we take this Kobe and we chunk it up into small, like basically boneless chicken bites or Kobe bites in this instance. They'll fry it and then they'll roll it in buffalo sauce. It's incredible, but they've got Asian honey, garlic, and uh, cowboy roll. I don't know, they got all sorts of stuff. But um, man, that is like my perfect. Kobe is good and firm. And that's why they're so good to make the nuggets out of. It tastes just like chicken. Colbias. I think he's there. I swear I think he's there. I think he's there. I think he's there. He's there. Oh, whoa. Oh, God. Oh, that one's digging right there. Oh. <laughs> That one's digging. Gotta get him up off the bottom. Get him up, get him up, get him up. Okay, turn the handle. Turn the handle. Turn the handle. Turn the handle. Ah. Butt up here quick. Ah, yeah, boys. Look at that bruiser. That's a good one. Woo! And those things are strong. Eight pounds. What were we at, 15? Yeah. Got him. Oh, this was not very big. Oh, this reminds me of a grouper. This reminds me of a grouper. Now he's turning into a grouper. 
Look at it. All right, there's another species. So this is a gag grouper. Pretty little fish right there. Maybe an 18 inch or so. So right now, all gag grouper is closed to harvest, recreational or commercial. They Normally the season starts May 1st and goes all the way to December. This year they closed it, I wanna say June 15th, maybe June 30th, somewhere in there, way early, way early. And so once again, us fishermen are left not being able to keep them. Now this wouldn't be a legal size anyway, they gotta be 24 inches. But we have been catching quite a few this size. So leads me to believe there are, is a good stock coming up, but it's a really pretty fish. These gag grouper typically we find in shallower water, 100 foot and less would be typical. The of that scamp size. grouper is the other grouper we catch a lot of, and they're typically for us a little bit deeper. But we're gonna let this guy go. He doesn't need to be vented since we was caught in shallow water. More population assessment. He'd be pretty close to keeper size. He's almost 24 inches, but not anymore since they closed the season. He's either gonna win or I'm gonna win. This is the last bait I'm giving him. What you got? I don't know yet. Snapper grouper, name it. I don't know, he's pulling pretty hard. That looks like a slow pull. I'm gonna say grouper. Nah. Kinda sluggish. Yeah. I don't know, he's fighting all the way. Nice. Snapper. I think that's the one that I just lost because he had my bait in his mouth. Recycling bait. Never a bad thing. Hooked up, got them all. What flavor you got? Red snapper. What'd you say that last one was, five pounds? Yeah. So we're at 28. So what's that, 28? 28, yeah. Oh, we gotta catch them bigger than that one. <laughs> got him on, got him on. Got him on. Not a real big one, but another red snapper. A snapper slapper. Miss him. Yeah. Ugh. Getting a little nautical out here. Four pounds. That right there is a what we like to call jumbo sea bass. Current and the seas are kicking our ass here. What started as a three hour tour now almost turning into work. Weather. Went to crap on us. Trolling motor won't work. Had to throw the anchor. Current picked up. Fishing slowed down. Anglers got aggravated. Cameraman got sick. The whole thing has just gone to crap. But we ain't giving up. I hadn't had a bite since old man Santiago. I feel like it's been 83 days. Forgot what one feels like been so long. Feels kind of like what I'm getting right now, though. Ah. Come on. Come on, you. Let's get up here. Let's get up here, man. Give us a fish. Put us in. You hooked up? Yep. Doubled up. You can hear the crackling of the line over there. Let's get back on the fish, boys. We don't quit. We might be down, but we ain't out. Whew. Mine's the right color. Got the right flavor? Right flavor. Strawberry milk? Yep. Strawberry milk. One sec. Me too, strawberry milk. Oh, that one will go a little further. Woo! That's pretty. That's what we've been after. Gotta get these guys going again. Woo! Love it.
That's an 11. All right, I got it. Let go, let go. Oh, my pinky was on. It was eight. I'm on. I'm on. We're snapper slapping. Uh-oh. Strawberry milk. Are you on the bottom or are you good? I'm up. I'm right okay. here. All right, good. Woo! Strawberry milk. Woo! Trying to get to our limit. It's been a job today, man. If we weren't trying so hard, it'd be easy. We're at 58. All right, there's some more strawberry milk. Whew. All right, that's gonna get us into 60s. He, that fish bit that bait and just laid there. I felt him peck it one time, but he never pulled. And I just raised my rod tip just to check. I felt that weight, he was just laying on it. What'd I say we were at, 62? Yep. We're gonna be almost there. Federal limit. 75 pounds, that's our trip limit. We're at 68. 68. And I'll be honest, it's been, I think the weather and the current has made it tough on us. We're one, maybe two fish away, but we gotta go. We gotta go, we gotta try to get to it. Four of these, there's some storms closing in on us. I think when people watch this, Braden, they're gonna recognize Oh, where the catching is going down. Where's the catching been all day? <laughs> My side. Why no. do you think the cameraman's been over here all day? All right, a little more strawberry milk. I oh, think it's gonna take one more. All right, we're at 68. This is gonna make it about 72. All right, we're gonna see who can catch this last fish. Me or Braden, I don't really care. I hope Braden, Braden, I swear I hope you get him. I, I've wound in so many today, I don't even know if I can get another one. I think I've caught 64 pounds of the 75 pound quota. He's all quiet, isn't he? Come on now, there he is, right? I pulled it right out of his mouth. I mean, I pulled it right out of his mouth. Finish this up. Please be it. Yep. Strawberry. Perfect size, too. There he is, the magic one. Braden? It's been a, uh, it's been a challenge. We fought through, but uh, we have successfully captured our 75 pounds. This ought to, whoa, God, Braden! Oh my God, my rod's doubled over. What the hell, I left that in the rod holder. What is that? Oh, I didn't even have it on the bottom. I had it up off the bottom. Are you in the rock or are you tied? Oh, well, I was trying to give a closing, guys. I didn't even get that all the way to the bottom, but. Oh, son. Oh, that's gotta be shark. shark. Big nasty. Well, let's finish up right here. Braden, turn around and talk to your folks at home. We worked hard, we got all our fish, catching big sharks, barracudas. That's Braden's job was to get rid of all the bad stuff. What uh what are you gonna do with this money, son? Probably something to do with fishing. No nah, man, this is car payment, son. If you want a vehicle, you better start saving. Nah. Alright, well, till the next one. OAFC TV, this was the snap a slapping episode. We'll catch you next time. I'm ready to go home. I'm tired. <laughs>